Hi, and welcome to TouchView. So we've already talked in an earlier video about how I can cast my device directly to the panel, but let's take a look at how I can cast what's on my panel out to other devices in the conference room or the classroom. So I'm gonna go back to my laptop over here, and again, we have that eShare software installed, but instead of choosing screen share, I'm gonna choose that I want to TV mirror my panel. So now that's going to take everything that's on my touch view panel uh, and wirelessly cast it directly to my laptop. So you're looking at uh, my laptop right there, so I can choose to go ahead and take that full screen on my laptop. So now that's going to allow me to go in and say, maybe I want to launch into uh, some SWRITE uh, applications. Uh, I can go ahead and import uh, an IWB file, for example, and go ahead and insert that. Uh, and so now whatever is on my panel is also cast wirelessly directly to my laptop with that. Uh, it can work the same for tablets as well. So that's a great way to be able to have anything on the panel. If I go ahead, pull up my pen tool, uh, for example, and start to mark any, any kind of content up, you'll see that populate on my laptop in real time along with that as well. So that's how you can wirelessly cast anything from your TouchView panel out to iPads, uh, MacBooks, Chromebooks, doesn't matter what type of device it is. Uh, as a matter of fact, I can even go in on my laptop and I can have full control over my panel. So I can annotate on my panel with this. Uh, I can also go in and select the side toolbar. So maybe I just want to jump back to the home screen uh, and I just did that uh, and now it re it's, it's reflected on my panel as well. So you also have that full touch control capability. If you don't want your students to have that touch control, I'd go back to my moderator control center here uh, and that's gonna allow me to enable or disable touch on that device. So if you don't want your students to be able to take control of anything on your panel, you might wanna disable the touch control uh, so that they can only view what's on the panel. So that's just a look at how I can mirror content from my panel out to other devices.